Hello, this is Doc Progeny. Welcome to the Progeny Europe YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do some pedigree drawing inside Progeny Clinical. You'll see here on the screen I've got Progeny open. This is the client installed version of Progeny 10. First thing I'm going to do is click left click on the new pedigree button. It's going to bring up this box. I'm going to name the pedigree. You'll see some other options here. Here are some other folders I can save a pedigree in. Here are some security settings. I can allow different users differential access to this pedigree. And there's the open on save option, which is checked. I'm going to use that and click save. And that will open the pedigree. I'm now going to add the first individual. I do this by right clicking on my mouse, going to the top option here, and adding the gender of the proband that I want to add. So the individual will be added here. They'll have a little proband arrow showing. I'm going to left click on that individual. It then brings up these yellow arrows. If these arrows aren't showing, go to the top of the screen, click on properties, then go to the progeny tab and make sure that this one click add option here is checked. If it's not, make sure it is. So then as you hover over these yellow arrows, it'll actually tell you what they're going to do. So basically, the top arrow here is to add parents. The right hand top arrow here is to add on siblings. The right one here is for spouses. And the bottom adds children. So I'm going to go ahead, left click on this. I'm going to add in some siblings. Add in a spouse. The spouse will always be the opposite gender of the individual you're adding to. So now if I want to add some more complex relationships, say for example twins, if I click on a pre-existing individual like this lady here, and then at the same time hold down the control key and press that right hand top arrow and right click on it, you'll see I've added on a sister. Now if I click on the line connecting those two and go Again, it brings up some twin relationship options. I'm going to make that monozygotic, which adds a line here. You'll also see when I added that that there were some other options. So if I go to properties again, you'll see here for the spouse relationship, I have a normal relationship. Separated, which adds the line here. Divorced, which is a double line. Casual, which is a dotted line. OK, so let's take that back to normal. So now you'll also see I've got a number of individuals in the family. One of the common questions I get is, how would I join this male here to this female here? If I click on the male here, you'll see it opens up the yellow box, and there are a number of black squares within that box. These are what you use to connect individuals. So for example, if I wanted to connect him with her, I left click in that black box, I drag over to the female, and that connects them. Just to show the other black boxes, these two black boxes here on the top are to connect siblings. This one at the bottom will connect children. And if there weren't parents already, there'd be a black box here to connect the parents as well. So again, if I click on that line, plus properties, I can define that as consanguineous. So you'll see very briefly, that's how you draw a pedigree. Um, I'm going to add more videos over the coming days. I'm going to show you also how to do the same pedigree in the web version of Progeny as well. So for now, enjoy, and there will be more videos to follow.